Hi, I'm Julianne Koss. Here are five reasons you should apply filters as smart filters. Now, to apply a filter as a smart filter, we must first change the background, or if we're working with a layer or layers, we must turn them into a smart object. To do this, I'll select Filter, and then Convert for Smart Filters. On the Layers panel, we can see that the background has been converted to a smart object and has a smart object icon on the layer thumbnail. Next, I'll add a filter by selecting Filter and Neural Filters. I'll enable Colorize, and Photoshop will use artificial intelligence to create a hand-colored effect and apply it to the image. When I apply the filter, we can see the Smart Filter in the Layers panel. The first benefit of applying a filter as a smart filter is that they're non-destructive and they can be edited and changed, even deleted, at any time. To refine the filter settings, we can double-click on the name of the filter in the Layers panel. To add some red to the barn, I'll click to set down a focal point and choose a color from the color picker. To colorize the second barn, I'll option drag on Mac or alt drag on Windows a second color point in the preview area. All right, let's apply that change. The second benefit is that we can use the smart filters mask to selectively hide and show the filter in the image. I'll choose the object selection tool and then click on the bus to select it. Then I'll click on the Smart Filters mask to select it and use the shortcut Shift Delete or Shift Backspace to display the fill dialog. For contents, I'll choose black and apply it. Then I'll use the Select menu to deselect the selection and tap V to select the Move tool. However, I want to reveal a little bit of color in the bus so I'll decrease the density of the mask using the Properties panel. The third benefit of applying a filter as a smart filter is we can stack multiple smart filters and reorder the stacking order. I'll target the layer in the Layers panel, then choose Filter, Stylize, and Oil Paint. I'll make a few adjustments and then apply it. Then I'll return to the Filter menu again and add the Camera Raw filter. I'll add a white edge using the Vignette option, add some grain to the image because I want the oil paint filter to have some texture in the sky so that it can create some additional paint strokes. I'll also select the mask icon and add a radial gradient. I'll drag out the radial gradient and reposition it and then decrease the exposure. But because it's darkening the inside of the radial gradient, I'll click the invert icon so that it affects the outside of the circle in the image and apply it. Now, let's see what happens if we change the stacking order of the filters. If I drag the camera raw filter below the oil paint, then the grain in the sky disappears, but we see additional strokes in the sky because the oil paint filter is taking into consideration all of the grain that was added in the camera raw filter. And if I drag the neural filter, above the camera raw filter, then the colors render differently. I also want to point out that the Smart Filter Mask is masking all of the filters applied to the Smart Object layer. I can also play with blend modes and opacity for each of the filters independently of one another. In this case, I think that the colors are too saturated, so I'll double click the Filter Blending option to the right of the Neural Filter. Photoshop lets us know that filters that are stacked on top of this filter will not preview while the filter is being edited, but they'll be applied after committing to the filter. Here we can change the blend mode. For this image, I'll select screen, as well as the opacity, and here I'll decrease it by 50%. Finally, I can quickly copy the same filters to another layer or to another image. If there was a second layer in this image, I could drag the name of the Smart Filter to move it from one layer to another, or I could option drag on Mac or alt drag on Windows the Smart Filter from one layer to another to make a copy. But in this example, I want to copy all of the filters to another document. So I'll select Window, Arrange, and then Tile so that we can see both images, and I'll use the keyboard shortcut Command-0 on Mac or Control-0 on Windows to zoom both images to fit on screen. Then I'll need to change the background into a smart object by selecting Filter and Convert for Smart Filters. Now I can drag and drop an individual filter by dragging the name of the filter, or I can drag all of the filters as well as the mask 
by dragging where it says Smart Filters. By default, Photoshop has collapsed the filters, so I'll click the downward pointing chevron to display them. Then I can refine the filters. In this case, I don't need the mask of the bus, so I'll select the mask, then use Shift Delete again to display the fill dialog and fill the mask with white. I also want to remove the red color that I applied in the neural filter, so I'll double click on the neural filter, select the focal point, and click Delete. I'll do the same for the second color focal point, and then apply the changes. Excellent! I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.